What if I told you that the secret to staying strong, stable, and independent after 60 isn't found in a pricey protein powder or a daunting gym routine? It's in your kitchen. It starts with this one humble, sweet fruit. New research is revealing that certain foods are powerful allies in the fight against age-related muscle loss, a condition known as sarcopenia. Today, we're counting down the seven most powerful foods you should be eating every week to preserve your strength, improve your balance, and keep you doing the things you love for years to come. The silent threat. What is sarcopenia? First, let's talk about the enemy. Sarcopenia is the medical term for the gradual loss of muscle mass and strength that can begin as early as our 50s. It's a silent process. You might not even notice it at first, just a little more weakness when you get up from a chair, a slower walking pace, or a loss of balance that makes you feel unsteady. This isn't just about looking weaker, it's about function. It leads to a higher risk of falls and fractures, a slower metabolism that can affect blood sugar, and it can chip away at your independence. But here's the crucial hopeful part. This process is not a life sentence. It can be slowed, stopped, and even reversed with the right combination of nutrition and movement. And it all starts on your plate. The anti-sarcopenia seven. Your food pharmacy? Before we dive into these seven powerful foods, I wanna share a personal goal with you. We're working toward our first big milestone of 1,000 subscribers, and every subscription helps us create more content that truly makes a difference in your health journey. If you're ready to take control of your muscle health after 60, please support our channel by subscribing and liking this video. It truly helps us reach more people who need this information. Now let me introduce you to what I call your food pharmacy, the seven most powerful anti-sarcopenia foods you should be eating regularly. Let's build your nutritional toolkit. These are the seven powerhouse foods that deliver the specific nutrients your muscles crave. One, prunes, dried plums. Starting with the one I mentioned, prunes. A recent study from Florida State University found that older adults who ate prunes daily maintained better grip strength and coordination. They're packed with boron, potassium, and antioxidants that support both bone density and muscle function. Simple recipe. Stir a handful of chopped prunes into your morning oatmeal along with a tablespoon of ground flaxseed for fiber and a dash of cinnamon for blood sugar control. Two, salmon or sardines. For high quality protein and anti-inflammatory power, you can't beat fatty fish. The omega-3 fatty acids in salmon and sardines are proven to slow the rate of muscle loss and improve the muscle building response to exercise. Simple recipe. For a quick lunch, mash a can of sardines with half an avocado, a squeeze of lemon juice, and a pinch of black pepper. Spread it on whole grain toast. It's a protein and healthy fat powerhouse. Three, pumpkin seeds. These little green seeds are giants in the mineral world. They're one of the best natural sources of magnesium, which is essential for muscle contraction and relaxation. They also provide iron for oxygen transport and tryptophan, which supports restful sleep, a critical time for muscle repair. Simple recipe, lightly toast them and sprinkle over salads or roasted vegetables, or blend a tablespoon into your post-walk smoothie. Four, lentils. Lentils are a triple threat. They're an excellent source of plant-based protein. They're rich in iron to help deliver oxygen to your muscles. And their high fiber content supports stable energy and blood flow. Simple. Recipe. A simple red lentil soup is perfect. Saute onions, garlic, and carrots. Add red lentils and a generous teaspoon of turmeric. Cover with broth and simmer until tender. Five. Tempeh. If you're looking for a plant-based protein superstar, meet tempeh. It's made from fermented soybeans, making its protein more digestible and absorbable than tofu. It's a complete protein, meaning it contains all nine essential amino acids, and it's particularly high in leucine, the most important amino acid for triggering muscle growth. Simple recipe, slice and saute tempeh in tamari and sesame oil until golden brown, 
then toss with steamed broccoli and serve over quinoa. Six, sweet potatoes. Muscles need clean, sustained energy to perform and recover, and that's what sweet potatoes provide. Their complex carbohydrates replenish muscle glycogen without spiking your blood sugar. They're also rich in potassium, which helps prevent painful muscle cramps. Simple recipe. Cut them into wedges, toss with olive oil, turmeric, and black pepper, and bake until crispy. They're a delicious side dish with any protein. 7. Black Garlic This is regular garlic that's been aged through fermentation. The process creates a compound called s cysteine which can boost nitric oxide, improving blood flow to your muscles. It's also a powerful anti-inflammatory and a prebiotic, feeding the good gut bacteria linked to overall health. Simple recipe, the cloves become soft, sweet, and spreadable. Mash one or two and spread them on whole grain crackers or mix them into your salad dressing for a deep umami flavor. The leucine threshold, the most important concept for muscle after 60. Beyond just eating protein, there's a specific scientific concept you must know, the leucine threshold. Leucine is an amino acid that acts like the on switch for muscle building. Research shows that to trigger muscle protein synthesis, you need to consume about 2.5 to 3 grams of leucine per meal. This is why the quality and amount of protein you eat at each meal is critical. You can't just nibble, you need a sufficient dose. How to hit your leucine threshold. One cup of cooked lentils, approximately 1.3 grams leucine. Four ounces, 115 grams of chicken or salmon, approximately 2.5 grams leucine. One serving of tempeh, 100 grams, approx. 1.5 grams leucine, pair with pumpkin seeds or lentils to reach the threshold. Two large eggs plus one cup of Greek yogurt, approximately 2.8 grams leucine. This is why combining foods is so powerful. It's not just about grams of protein, it's about unlocking your body's muscle building machinery at every meal. How to build your muscle meal plan? You don't need to overwhelm yourself by eating all seven every single day. The strategy is to consistently include three or four of them in your daily rotation. Sample day, breakfast, oatmeal with prunes and pumpkin seeds. Lunch, a large bowl of lentil soup with a side of Greek yogurt. Snack, an apple with a handful of almonds. Dinner, baked salmon with a side of sweet potato wedges and sauteed spinach. See how that works? You're covering your bases for protein, healthy fats, complex carbs, and micronutrients all day long. The four common mistakes to avoid. Even with the right foods, many people undermine their efforts. Avoid these pitfalls. 1. Not eating enough protein per meal. Aim for 20 to 30 grams. That's a palm-sized piece of fish or a couple lentils. 2. Skipping meals or going too low carb. Your muscles need a steady supply of energy and protein. 3. Being sedentary. Nutrition builds the bricks, but movement is the signal to lay them down. Daily walking and light strength training are non-negotiable. 4. Ignoring vitamin D and magnesium. Get your levels checked. These are crucial for muscle function and protein synthesis. The three non-negotiable movements, no gym required. Food builds the raw materials, but movement provides the instruction manual. You don't need a gym, but you must do these three types of movement weekly to tell your body to send protein to your muscles, not store it as fat. 1. The sit to stand chair squats. This is the number one functional exercise. It builds the exact strength you need to get out of a car, off the toilet, and up from a chair confidently. Aim for two sets of 10 to 15 twice a day. Two, heel raises, stand and slowly rise up onto your toes, then lower. Hold onto a counter for balance. This strengthens your calves and stabilizes your ankles, which is crucial for preventing falls. Do these while you brush your teeth. Three, the farmers. Carry, simply pick up a moderately heavy object in each hand, a milk jug, a bag of groceries, and walk for 30 to 60 seconds.
This builds incredible core and grip strength, which is directly linked to longevity. Consistency beats intensity. Doing these simple movements most days is far more effective than one hard workout a week. You have more control over your strength and vitality than you might think. You can't stop the clock, but you can absolutely influence how your body ages. It's not about a drastic overhaul. It's about making smart, consistent choices. Start by adding one of these foods, maybe those prunes in your oatmeal and build from there. Your journey to stronger years starts now. Which of these seven foods are you most excited to try first? Is it the savory tempeh or the sweet, powerful prune? Share your first choice in the comments below. I read everyone. If you found this guide empowering, pay it forward. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with a friend who values their independence. Here's to your strength.